Hey everybody. I had a comment from somebody today. In fact, I had a back and forth with somebody today who could have been one of the uh, study subjects for Drs. Dunning and Kruger. They clearly regarded themselves an expert on the subject, but they were so far off the mark that I'm still not entirely sure they weren't just messing with me or trolling me. But they were talking about um, big chain pet stores. They may have been talking about all fish stores in general, but I know for sure they were talking about uh, big chain pet stores, and they kept insisting that the filtration systems in the big chain pet stores were open systems that were uncycled. And after a little bit of questioning, because I wasn't sure quite what they meant by an open system that was uncycled, uh, think about your bathroom sink. You know, it's got that little drain at the top in case you leave the water running. It's got the emergency sort of overflow drain. That's kind of like imagine just leaving the water running so that it's, it's flowing in at the same rate that it's flowing out. That's how they think that the, or they claim to think, uh, that's how the uh, aquariums, when you go into PetSmart, you see the water coming in at the top and then it's got the little drain grate at the bottom. They are trying to tell me that that's apparently chlorinated city water coming in at the top and it's simply just going out of the drain at the bottom and that is an open system and it's not the same water being recirculated around with any kind of biological filtration. It's simply fresh water replacing the old water continually. But of course that would have to be city water which is chlorinated. And of course when you go to the Petco they have saltwater tanks and I'm pretty sure that Westminster you know I know they've got hot cold I don't think there's a marine tap where you can just run marine water through these tanks so despite the fact that I'm apparently a moron let me assure you this is not how the filtration systems in uh, pet stores work big small or whatever now there are a lot of comments that I get though that lead me to believe a lot of people do have misunderstandings about how some of these um, systems, closed systems, because they're very much closed systems just like any one of my tanks or individual closed systems. Most fish stores will have multiple tanks on the same system but it's still a closed system. And once you start getting into individual stores, if you get into mom and pop stores, they all can generally do it differently. Um, the most separated I've ever seen the systems, or most individualized I've ever seen the systems, is one of the pet stores I go to occasionally has one single air pump and runs airlines to all the tanks. But every tank is its own tank, and every tank has its own sponge filter, and with the exception of the air all coming from a centralized location, they're all separate individual tanks. And that's a bit extreme. A lot of fish stores won't do that unless they're a very small mom and pop store. Uh, my good fish store that I like to go to, House of Tropicals down in Glen Burnie, I've had discussions with them about their uh, filtration system, and they have their tanks broken down into sections. You know, one section has uh, soft water, one section has neutral water, one section has hard water for their African cichlids. Of course, their salt water is all its own thing. They have some tanks that are separated into a group of tanks that are sort of isolation tanks. They have some tanks that are completely individual tanks that have their own filtration and everything that they use for quarantine tanks and all that. But all of them are closed systems in the sense that that water is circulating through the tank and being, you know, it's the same water going through some type of filtration. And it is cycled. They are not uncycled tanks that these fish are in. Uh, and this all stems, of course, from the video I shot recently where I talked about uh, using live fish as a, a, an ammonia source to do a fish in cycle. Um, and then, of course, this conversation all came from that, saying that the big chain pet stores and pet stores in general keep their fish in uncycled tanks because it's just apparently fresh water coming in all the time. And that's not true at all. You know, again, uh, different stores do it different ways, but they all have closed systems where it's going through some type of filtration and then back and flowing through the tanks. Now, my pet smart here, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, but I did talk to the manager about the way their filtration system was set up, and they have, it's all the same water as far as water chemistry, but they have it set up into three sections for sort of a redundancy uh, effect in case there's a leak or there is some sort of contamination or something. It doesn't get all the tanks. It, it's compartmentalized into groups of tanks. So if there's a leak, 
it's only a third of their tanks that have that leak. And when it comes to um, uh, disease and the spread of disease and whatnot, I've had a lot of people say that, you know, if you go to the pet store and you see, they see ick on some of the fish, like in the PetSmart, for example, they just walk out because if those fish have ick, then they all have ick because it's one big system, they're all in the same system, and that's not true either. They all are on the same system, but that water's going through um, a sterilization and a filtration process before it comes back into the tanks. So if this tank has some sick fish in it that have ick or whatever, and some of those free swimmers are in the water and they get sucked out, they get sucked into a filtration system where they're killed off through UV sterilization, um, possibly even ozone sterilization or something like that, and then the water gets pumped back into the tanks. So the water coming into the tanks isn't going to be contaminated from one of the other tanks within that system. So if you go to PetSmart or Petco or someplace like that, and again, I can't speak for all mom and pop shops, but I know the big chain pet stores definitely run their water through some sort of sterilization. Otherwise, all the fish would have ick all the time. They'd constantly be treating for ick all the time because at any given time, some of those fish somewhere have ick on them at some point or whatever the the algae would spread or it's just it doesn't work that way it, it goes through a filtration system where it's definitely got biological filtration it's definitely cycled uh, aquarium filtration but it also goes through sterilization in most of these cases before it comes back into the main tank and that way you're not running the risk of contaminating all your tanks that are on the system because there's one fish is sick. That's just no no fish store would really set their systems up that way. It just doesn't make any sense. You put a biological sterilizer in there or UV sterilizer or something like that and that way you don't have to worry about contaminating your tanks. So fish stores do have cycled water and they do have sterilization processes at least in the most cases. You know, Again, I can't speak for every fish store out there. Uh, anybody out there that has any experience with this, worked at a fish store, owns a fish store, um, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, if this, you know, you get wind of this and you, you know, want to share. I'm sure there's videos if you want to go check out Corey's uh, uh, website or um, YouTube page. I'm sure he's got videos of his filtration systems in his store and everything. And again, probably what I'm saying is not far off the mark with the way he's got his tank set up uh, or something like that. So anyway, they're not open systems. They're not running chlorinated uh, city water right into the tanks and et cetera, et cetera. So don't, you know, don't, don't think any of that. So that's all I got to say about that really. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget this one here is my 125 gallon native tank. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.